So just recently, we've released the new global website search add-on. David, if, if it's okay with you, uh, you put together a short list here of some of the features and benefits of what this add-on uh, can include. And uh, maybe we can do a quick demo of how it works uh, right after. So the global website search add-on is a pretty powerful add-on. What it will allow your users to do is to search your entire website with a single keyword search field and they'll be able to receive all the search results, whether it's members, blog articles, classifieds, any other post types, all within one search result. And all of those different types of results, members and, and the various post types, will all be categorized into different tabs. So it's all a very neat and organized layout on uh, search result pages. So it's a pretty powerful add-on. It uh, allows your visitors to discover a lot more content on your website rather than the default search fields, which would only typically allow them to search one content type at a time, whether it's a member uh, search or a blog article search or a classified search uh, or anything else like that. Yeah, I, th I think one of the key benefits here, it, it provides greater visibility for all the content that's available on the site, specifically for a, a keyword search. Let's let's show you guys what we're all familiar with if we go to like our demo site, like Demo Bootstrap. And we know that if you want to search events, you're only searching for um, events. And there's a there's a sidebar search here. There's obviously specific criteria that you can search for for events. But if you did a keyword search, you know, like musical, you're, you're just going to get the results here uh, for musical. And that's the same for all the different types of posts um, and members as well. And, it, and it's fine, especially when it's in, if you're in the job listing section and you want to search job listings, uh, it makes perfect sense uh, to have that on this specific page. Uh, but let me show you guys what uh, you can do with the global website search uh, real quick. So a couple of things I want to show you is first how you can enable it on your site. So there's two ways that you can get the search module to show one in the header, and this will be the global website search uh, module, or on your home page. And let's enable it on the home page, and then let's see what it does exactly. So um, when you have this add-on, you can go to your design settings. And I, I really like it on the on the header. It really makes sense there. It's like I want to do a quick search for the site for you know everything that's Los Angeles or everything that's doctor, everything that's basketball or volleyball or green mustangs, you know, whatever it is. So in the header design, um, you can under show header search, uh, the last option here is is for the add-on. You can select global website search. And it's just a keyword input field because all the different post types, events, jobs, members, they all have a lot of different metadata that could be searched, but really doesn't match up uh, between each specific post. But we know for sure you can search all of them with a single keyword field. So that's why that's there. So this is one area where you can enable uh, the keyword search field and it will search the entire website. The next is in the home page layout under your home page search settings. Now at the bottom here, you'll also have the global website search. So that's under the search type and the home page layout tab, you can select global website search. And I'll just go ahead and save those changes. And I'll refresh the home page here. Cool, let's just do an open search. So if I click search now, we have some sample content on here like our demo bootstrap site. So here's a search for all the content on the site. So all the member profiles, all the articles, whatever post types have content, um, we'll see it all here. When you're on the global website search, search results page, it's not gonna show all 6,000 members here. It'll show the first 10 members that best match the result if you did it like a regular keyword search uh, with the normal search module. And it'll say view more results and it'll take you to the search results page for that post type or for the members. So there was no keyword specified here, so it's just taking us to view all 6,000 members here. But let's go back a bit. And there's also a sidebar search here as well. So now we could have it on three pages, the results page for the global uh, website search, the header, and on the home page. So let's do a search for golf. I think we just have member results for golf, actually. Yep, so in this case, there's 50 results for members that match the keyword golf. 
Um, let's search for tips. Uh, so here we can see that we have one member that has the word tips in their profile somewhere and five articles that have the word tips here as well. So let's search, let's say chicken fingers, for example. Everyone loves chicken fingers. So it will find all the restaurants that have that somewhere in their profile, all the coupons. It will find the chicken fingers eating competitions if there's, if there's an event. So it just makes it really easy to find content on your site. It's pretty straightforward here. If your site is really focused on uh, a certain industry or topic or certain location, uh, you can definitely present your visitors with a lot more results. Not only will they find potentially what they were looking for, but what's really cool is they'll discover new things and continue clicking around your site, uh, which is, again, good for SEO to keep people on your site, keep people clicking on your site, uh, and reducing uh, that bounce rate that Google looks at uh, for how quickly people are leaving your site. So really the key is keeping people on your site and giving them a good experience.